player 2 has joined the game. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to a very special episode of the Two Player Co-op Podcast. As always, I'm one of your hosts here, Kevin, along with my brother from my mother, Sean. This is episode 353. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, brother. How we doing? That's not going to work for me, brother. If you didn't, well, wait a minute. If this is the first time you're ever seeing, hearing, or listening to us, this is the Two Player Co-op Podcast. We're just about every week... Two brothers get together and tell you everything you need to know about in the world of video games and sometimes wrestling. So and Sometimes nothing about video games. Exactly. But if you like that, like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, family, and everyone in betwixt. If you really like us, patreon.com slash two-player co-op. Merch at teespring.com slash stores slash two-player co-op. I'm not going to do the whole rigmarole because this isn't really a normal episode of ours, but it's one we wanted to do and there's not a lot of video game news, so I said let's do this instead. If you couldn't tell by the title of the video, obviously we are doing our predictions for WrestleMania 40. I must say, I am more excited for this mania. The 29th WrestleMania that we've been fans. Watching, yeah. 12? Well, 30 for me, actually, because I I paid attention to 11. Because Uh. I had started... I wasn't really watching Raw, but I was kind of paying attention because Tom liked it back then. And somehow I had become aware of Diesel, and I just thought he was the coolest thing away. either. I was aware. And I knew that he was fighting Sean at WrestleMania, and I didn't I didn't really like Sean yet. Obviously, he's my favorite wrestler of all time now, and he's the, he's the GOAT. Um, but also, that was WrestleMania 11 was... That was LT versus Bam Bam. So, of course, LT gets me interested. Yeah. Yeah. I was randomly, I randomly saw on Twitter, I don't remember why, but it was a video of, must have been 30 years, I guess. No, it wouldn't have been 30 years. I don't know why they were showing, but they were showing clips of Undertaker and Sid from 13. And it's weird how WrestleMania used to just look like Raw. It was just like the metal, I mean, They've even moved from that now, but it was just like the plain metal barricades just in like a little, like could have been in FedEx forum, <laughs> like not a big arena, just like a little, <laughs> just a little arena, just hey, the WrestleMania, not That raw, was in like Chicago. 13 was Chicago, yeah. Yeah, the Chicago street fight. 12 was Anaheim. 14 was Boston. 15 might have been Philly. 15 was Philly. WrestleMania 2000. After that, I start to lose track. 2000 was... It was an MSG. No, it was, was that Los Angeles or Anaheim or something? Anaheim was 12. LA was 21 because that was WrestleMania Goes Hollywood. 19 was Seattle. Seattle. 18, 18 was, was Toronto. Toronto. 17, best Houston? WrestleMania ever. I can't even think of where it was. Houston, I think. Was it in a big, was it in a football stadium then? I think that was the first one that was maybe. 17 was Houston, I'm pretty sure. Okay. 20, 21, 22, I don't remember. 23 was Detroit. Oh, the 20-year anniversary. And then I lose track after 24 that. was Florida. I don't know if it was, because that was, I'm sorry, I love you, super kick. That was outside. That was Edge versus Taker. 25. Was that also Cena and Rock? One. No, that was 28. Oh. And then 29, oh, yeah. Cena beat him. 27 was when Rock was the host. That's one of the worst WrestleManias ever. And is that like the main M- event was Miz Cena versus... versus The Miz, and The Miz won. Wow. I don't even remember how The Miz won. Did did did, did I, that's when I was not watching. But did Rocky? Did he get pissed off? I remember and, watching and WrestleMania Rock 23. Like I was still watching at that time. That was Undertaker and Batista, I think. And then and that was when Sean lost. His but season. by 24, I was not watching. 23 was the last. So sometime time. during the year of WrestleMania 23, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. The, the funny thing is, so I bought 23. Didn't watch 24. I remember 20. I watched it Fox and Hound in Cordova. Um, 21. I watched it Fox Hound Cordova. The only thing I really remember is the, the HBK Kurt Angle and Angle. HBK. Best match ever. 22 I bought at home I you know what I even did for 22 and 23 
I had one of those combo VHS DVD players, but the DVD was also a burner. So I recorded it. I've still got the DVD somewhere. 24 I didn't watch. 25 I didn't watch, even though it was Sean versus Undertaker. I don't know why I didn't watch it. What was 15 years ago? I guess Noah was one, so that's probably why. 26 was Sean's retirement match. I think I just didn't want to watch because I was like, this this sucks. <laughs> Obviously, he's done. Yeah. But I remember watching Raw the next night when he gave his goodbye, and it was just... I was crying. He was crying. I was crying. I was like, I can't believe this is over, but obviously he wants to spend time with his kids. Then 27. And he never wrestled again in Saudi Arabia or anything. No. Nope. Did not happen. <laughs> Bald. <laughs> big old funny looking head. Um, 27 was bad, but 27 did have that great. That was the first. So Undertaker went HBK, HBK, Triple H, Triple H. 27 I didn't watch. 28 was the Hell in a Cell. 28 was Hell in a Cell. The ref. That was, I will never forget that. And that was Rock Cena 1. That one I bought. That was the next one that I actually watched. 29, I didn't. And then 30, I think was the, or no, 29, I did. I think I've watched every WrestleMania since then. I can't remember when WWE Network started. Because that's no, when I was I'm just like, sure. 10 bucks a month, psh, whatever. I get to watch every pay-per-view, cool. Like, even if I don't care, it's, it's 10 bucks a month. Who cares? But 27... That first Triple H and Undertaker match was awesome. And that was the one where Taker was finally starting to show his age because that was the one where he actually, he went to the hospital, like, shoot, not a work. He went to the hospital after the match. I think he was dehydrated. I think he had a concussion. That was the one I think he, I think he got Triple H to submit to the, whatever the Hell's dragon. Gate. Yeah, that thing. And like he needed help getting out of the ring. It was, it was crazy looking, but then yeah, 28, <clears throat> I was way more excited because obviously Rocky was going to beat Cena. I was more excited for that triple H undertaker hell in a cell with HBK. And I will never forget like HBK was being impartial. And then something happened with him and taker and he got pissed. Undertaker turns around and this is super when, kick into the super pedigree kick, turns around into a pedigree. Boom. And I was like, I jumped. I, I can remember sitting in my living room at the Cordova house, jumping out of my chair going, holy shit. And I, Cause I thought that was it. Like you can't, that, uh, I mean, that's, everybody did. That's the best near fall. I think that has ever happened in wrestling. And when he kicked out, I was like, Sean, I was like, Oh my God, you can't beat this guy. Of course it's fake, but you know, you, you just like, you can't beat this guy. Yeah. 29. I don't remember anything there except. Roxena. Two. Rock Cena. Oh, that was Punk and Undertaker, I think. Was that? Which was Meadowlands? Awesome. Yes. The first one was in Miami. Yeah. And then, yeah, that was <laughs> and like April 2nd or whatever in, <laughs> in New, New York, York City. Like, what are we doing? Or in, in the Meadowlands, whatever. Um, 30 was the last time I was this excited for WrestleMania, I think. Because that was the yes move. Daniel Bryan. Yeah. That was when, that was right after Punk walked out. Because he was like, I, I, can't, I just can't do this shit anymore. Like, all this authority stuff. And Kane eliminates me out of the rumble and then choke slams me through a table. Corporate Kane. He's like, this is so stupid. I'm, I'm done. And, of course, he had to lose the title to Rocky the year before and all that. He was done. 30 was, was Daniel Bryan. I'll never forget opening the show with him and Triple H. I, I think that might have been the best match Triple H ever wrestled. Even at that, you know, older age that he was at. It was a freaking awesome match. And then Daniel Bryan wins it, so he gets to make the main event a triple threat with Orton and Batista, or Bautista. And and then Triple H hits him from behind with a sledgehammer. Uh, almost, it, looking back at it now, it kind of reminds me, remember how he, when Sean beat him at SummerSlam 02, his first match back, and then he came up from behind him and just waylaid him with a, it reminded me so much of that. But Daniel Bryan fights through everything. He's all taped up, and then he wins the he wins the title, and then he got a concussion or his neck or whatever it was like a month after that, and he had to drop the title, and that sucked. Thirty one was the best Money in the Bank cash in ever. Thirty two was the first time that I was I started watching between thirty one and thirty two because that's when I moved down here. I remember Raw was in Memphis, maybe like August September time frame. Well, no, it had to be after that because I moved here in September. So maybe it was like October. It wasn't long after I moved here. <laughs> I remember just going there and be like, 
All right, who are these guys? Okay, are they are they heels? Oh, are they faces? Yeah. yeah, I'm like, all right. So who who are these guys? Uh, yeah, who am I now? But then, yeah, the first WrestleMania after I got back into it was 32, which was terrible. Which was that? That was when Roman won the title, had to defend it in the Rumble. Triple, Triple H, H won. won. So, so then it was Roman versus Triple H at Mania. Yeah, and Roman beat him. Like, they thought, well, maybe if we have Roman beat Triple H, that'll make the people like him. No. And then and then was that Dean and Brock, or was that the next year? It was probably 32. I think it was 32. 33 was the maybe the worst main event. Ever. Which one was that? That was Older Taker versus and Roman. Roman. And okay. it was just he could barely move. Like if you go back and watch the way that ended, Roman does his bounce off the ropes twice and then a spear. Yeah. But like before that, Undertaker botched like sitting up. Like he he did something wrong and then he speared him and it barely looked like anything. And I was like, man, this sucks. Everybody still hated Roman. So what was the title match that year? Was that like? AJ and Shinsuke, or is that 34? That was... AJ and Shinsuke was when I went overseas to... I think that was 34, because that was New Orleans. 33 was like Orlando, or it was outside, I think. It was. I see the sunshine here. Let's do this. I like going through our memories. Let's see here. Title match. I'm guessing it was Cena something. No, because Cena would have been gone. Brock beat Goldberg for the Universal Championship oh, in four that. minutes. And Orton beat Bray Wyatt to win the WWE title. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was a weird one. Oh, Cena and Nikki versus The Miz and Maurice. I forgot about that. God. Seth beat Triple H in an unsanctioned match. Yep, that's right. AJ beat... Oh, that was AJ against Shane. Shane, yeah. So, yeah, and then 34... Was that was AJ and Shinsuke. And... Brock and Seth, maybe? Oh, no. Thir- no, that was Brock and Roman. Roman. That was Brock. And they did the whole thing where he, like, actually busted him open again. He hit him with, like, five F5s <laughs> and then pinned him. Uh, AJ beat Shinsuke. Yeah, so that was the year Shinsuke won the Rumble. Yep. But AJ beat him. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon beat Owens and Zayn. Oh, yeah. Had Owens and Zayn won, they would have been rehired to SmackDown. <laughs> Undertaker beat Cena. That's That was right. weird. Cena was, yeah, yeah. Even after he left his freaking boots in the ring the year before, he comes down and Cena's like, I don't have a match. I'm just sitting in the crowd. And then Undertaker comes out and he's like, oh boy, this will be fun. Wah! Boom. <laughs> Angle and Rousey beat Triple H and Steph. Oh, uh, yeah. God. Seth beat The Miz for the IC title. Wow. Or universe or the U.S. title. I'm not sure which it was. I scrolled by it too fast. Okay, 35 was the last one before the pandemic. Roman won. Roman. Okay, fought- so that was Becky, Ronda, Charlotte, Seth, and Brock. Oh yeah, that was the main event. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Seth and Brock opened it. That's right. Oh, How did Kofi and Debray? Was that that? Was year? that Kofi Mania? Yes. 23 minutes. They let that match go. So that was Seth beat Brock. AJ beat Orton. I don't remember that. Usos beat Alistair, Ricochet, Rusev, and Shinsuke in the bar. In fatal four-way match. Shane beat The Miz I don't, in a Falls Count Anywhere match. I don't remember that. The Iconics. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kofi beat Debray. Samoa Joe, U.S. Championship. He defended it against Ray and won. Roman Reigns defeated Drew McIntyre by pinfall. That was right when Roman came back from cancer. Okay, so that was his first... So that was when he finally got cheered. Yeah. Oh, and then he disappeared when the pandemic hit, and then he came back later. Okay. So yeah, and then 36 was the weird... The weird... Drew and Brock. Pre-taped everything. Uh, Yeah. So let's see. Well, not pre-taped, just not no, it was all pre-taped. Not it didn't. It was not live. Yeah, really. Yep. Uh, a 
Okay, so Alexa and Nikki Cross beat the Kabuki Warriors for the titles. Elias beat King Corbin. Becky Lynch beat Shayna Baszler. Why was Shayna Baszler even wrestling for a title? Sami Zayn beat Daniel Bryan for the Intercontinental. John Morrison? Oh, he like won a ladder match by himself or something? Yeah. He beat Jimmy and Kofi. Oh, it was three teams, but it was only one person from each for the tag titles. (laughs) Owens beat Rollins. Braun Strowman beat Goldberg. Goldberg won the U.S. the Universal Championship twice. Mm-hmm. Well, the first time he beat Owens, this was right after he beat the Fiend in Saudi Arabia, I think, and everybody's oh, pissed. Oh, that's right. And then Undertaker beat AJ in the Boneyard match, and then Night Two, Charlotte beat Rhea, Alistair beat Bobby in just a match, Otis beat Ziggler in a match, Edge beat Orton. <laughs> Oh, that was the that greatest. Was, oh no! And then backlash was the greatest wrestling, the greatest match, wrestling ever. match ever. Yeah, in front of nobody. <laughs> uh, that was a last man standing match. Street Profits beat Angel and Austin Theory to keep the tag titles. Bailey beat Sasha, Lacey, Naomi, <laughs> Naomi and Tamina to keep the SmackDown title. The Fiend Bray Wyatt in the Firefly Firefly Funhouse match beat Cena. Mac beat Brock, and then I forgot. Big Show comes out like WrestleMania nine when Hogan comes out. Remember that after Brett lost to Yoko and Brett's like, yeah, it's fine. I know you're screwing me over because you just need the title. Go on. And remember, and then he goes out and beats Yoko in like thirty yeah, seconds. Yeah, but and what happened here? Guy. Big Show just wanders out from the back and he's like, yeah, you beat Brock, but you can't beat me. And Drew was like, okay. And then they had a five minute match and he beat Big Show also. Was Big Show even wrestling? No. Why was he there? I don't... It was the dumbest... It was the weirdest... I don't know. (laughs) Wow. I remember thinking that Firefly Funhouse, I was like, I don't know what this is going to be. Like, how do you do this? And then it ended up being pretty cool, especially I just appreciate a lot more now that I can't believe Bray died. Um, But just giving us a glimpse of Cena in the NWO shirt, I was like, man, they... Why did they never... do Like, Rock's fine turning heel? We'll, We'll save it most beloved like actor rep athlete in the world and he's like i'll drop f-bombs and bloody people and stuff i don't care about moana uh 37 also two nights bobby beat drew to keep the wwe title that kicked off the show natalia and tamina i don't care cesaro beat seth by pinfall i have no memory of that wow aj and omas beat the new day for the tag team titles Braun beat Shane by pinfall, pinfall in a steel cage match. Bad Bunny and Damian Priest beat The Miz and Morrison. I did not remember Morrison was around for that long. I think this is around when AEW kicked off. Yes. And that's why I'm like, please, God, give me something, because these sound terrible. <clears throat> Bianca in the main event beat Sasha for the title. Next night, Randy beat The Fiend. So Randy beat Bray Wyatt a few years before that, and then he beat The Fiend. That was the bug match. That was the bugs in the in the ring match when they the first time. That was the first time. How did I he don't beat I the don't fiend? remember this. How did he beat the fiend? Oh, that Alexa was Alexa Bliss. Did Seth. she throw a fireball at Bray or something? I have no oh, idea. Oh, she did do something like that. Well, not at Bray, but at Randy. Well, but that's oh, what I'm trying to figure out. Why? Yeah, how did? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Uh, Owens beat Sammy. Sammy was accompanied by Logan Paul. I remember that. I don't now, remember but I've that. Forgotten that. Sheamus beat Riddle for the U.S. title. Oh <laughs> my shin! Skay Nakamura. <laughs> Apollo Cruz beat Big E in a Nigerian drum fight for the IC title. Rhea beat Asuka for the Raw title, and then Roman beat Edge and Debray. This I, sounds awful. The main event was good, but I remember after he won that, I was like, hmm. So he really is the new Cena. Little did I know, we're still going to be doing this four, two years, three years later. <laughs> all right, so then 38. Oh, God. Yeah, the biggest WrestleMania of all time. Main event was Brock versus Roman. Are you kidding me? Where was this one? This was in... Oh, was that LA? Oh, no, that was just last year. Jerry World. Uh, go back. What was like the logo? The star. Uh, yeah. 
Um, so WrestleMania 39, and we're, we're going to get to this WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, we're getting there. We're, we're having fun. Um, okay, night one. The Usos beat Shinsuke and Rick Boogers by pinfall to keep the titles. Drew beat Happy Corbin with Madcap Moss by pinfall. The Miz and Logan Paul beat Ray and Dominic. The Miz turned on Logan after the match, right? Mm-hmm. Logan started it as a face. Yeah. The biggest one of the biggest jackasses in the world started as a face. Bianca beat Becky to win the title. Wait, didn't they do that? <clears throat> oh no, Bianca beat Charlotte. Yeah, never mind. Cody debuts and beats Seth freaking Rollins. Seth would be the only man he would fight until the For, next year. <laughs> yeah. Charlotte kept the title against Ronda. I was very happy about that. Stone Cold. Oh, that's right. Uh, and Owens. The main event was the KO show or whatever. And then it turned into a match. And Stone Cold won in 1355. Next night, triple threat tag team match. RK Bro kept the titles against the Street Profits and Alpha Academy. Bobby Lashley defeated Omas. Johnny Knoxville beat Sami Zayn. That's right. That was fantastic. Sasha Banks. Well, because you know it. Like I was like, this is stupid, but you know it's he's going to go ridiculous. nuts. Yeah. yeah. Sasha and Naomi beat Carmella and Zelina, Liv and Rhea, Natalia and Shayna to win the women's tag team championship. Do we, are they, does the women tag titles even exist anymore? Yeah. Oh wait, yeah. It's damage like Kyrie control. and yeah. or whoever or Kyrie's the champ. No, EO is the champ. Oh crap. Well, whatever. <laughs> okay, Michael Scott. Uh, Edge beat AJ. I don't really remember that. Edge beat AJ. In just Why? a singles match. I feel like that should have been awesome, but I cannot... I can't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. That has... One of them eliminated the other from the rumble, and so they hated each other, written all over it. That's, That's the only thing was. I can think of. That's what it was. I feel like there's one of those every year, although not really this year. Sheamus and Rich Holland beat the New Day by pinfall. No titles or nothing. Why was that a match? Pat McAfee beat Austin Theory. Oh, yeah. I remember not looking forward to that, but I was like, well, he is kind of an athlete. Maybe it'll be fine, because that was his first time wrestling. Oh, and that was Stone Cold came out, Vince came out, Stone Cold stunned Vince, and it was like the worst one ever. Oh, yeah, because he just like... <laughs> but then after the match, McMahon beat McAfee. I don't remember that. So then they had a match. I don't know. And then Roman beat Brock to unify the titles. And the winner takes all match. And then next year, <laughs> WrestleMania 39... Obviously, was last year. WrestleMania goes Hollywood again. Is that did that what they called it? It is WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Isn't that what it was called? Twenty one was called. I think so. <laughs> Guys, come on. <laughs> uh, WrestleMania thirty nine. Okay, they kicked off the show with Theory beating Cena with his bald spot and his horrible haircut. Street Profits won a four-way showcase tag team match against Braun and Ricochet, Alpha Academy, and the Viking Raiders. Seth beat Logan with KSI. Trish, Lita, and Becky, I forgot that Trish came back. Wow. Beat Damage Control. Ray beat Dominic. Rhea beat Charlotte for the title. McAfee beat The Miz. I forgot McAfee wrestled last year, too. I don't remember that. And then KO and Sammy, the main event, they beat the Usos for the titles. It says that match was 24 minutes, 15 seconds. That felt like it was like 45 minutes. And I don't mean in a bad way. It just felt like that was a really long match. Yeah. Next night, oh, I had forgotten this. Kicked off the show with Brock beating. I have no memory of this. Even as I'm reading it, no memory. This has Royal Rumble. This was another one of those Royal Rumble stare down things turned into a match. I have no idea. Omas. I have no now. I remember. Of now that. I can see him like actually <laughs> suplexing that big son of a biscuit and like doing that five and stuff. Omas is like the biggest dude ever. Ronda and Shayna beat Liv and Raquel Rodriguez, Natalia and Shotzi. Schultz, I don't know how you're saying Whatever. Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville. So, Sonya Deville uh, by submission in a four-way tag team showcase match. Hmm. 
Gunther beat Sheamus and Drew. That was awesome. Yeah. That was just big meaty men slapping meat or whatever Big E says. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, Bianca beat Asuka. I am not a big... I, I, Bianca's good, but like people that act like that she's the best wrestler of all time are like, let's chill out. Uh, wow. I forgot this. Do you remember who beat The Miz? Logan Paul. Close. Oh, wait, no. Who did you... Logan Paul. Paul. Logan Paul, yeah. <laughs> he faced Seth. He faced Seth. <laughs> Snoop. What? Remember, he comes in, he's... <laughs> <laughs> he was the host or something because it was in yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, was. And then they had the Hell in the Cell with Edge and Finn. And that was when poor Finn, remember, he, he tried to block oh. the ladder... And it and went it just, like his arms went through the holes or yeah. something, and it just boom, bleh, just blood everywhere. And they stopped the match for like five minutes so they could stitch him up. Oh god, that was oh no, it was like on top of his head or something. It was in his hair. Yeah, I think it was yeah. like. Ugh. Oh, but Edge beat. That was the first match the Demon lost. Maybe. Was he the Demon? Mm-hmm. No, Demon had lost to Fiend already, I think. Or maybe they never uh, did that, even though it seemed like they should have. I know Finn lost to the Fiend. And I feel like they were like, we're not going to have it be the Demon because we don't want the Demon to lose. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't remember that being the Demon, though. <clears throat> and then, of course, Roman beat Cody. So last year was okay. But this, as we're going through our memories, as we just went through this all, easily of the last 10 years, 30 was my favorite. 31 was pretty good. Because it had the cash in. It had Sting wrestling in a WWE ring for the first time ever. And then they had Triple H go over because, of course, that's when Rock was there. Ronda came out of the crowd. Yeah. And she flipped Steph or something. You had other st- Oh, you had the RKO against Seth. Like, And then after that, it was just like, eh, it was bad. I don't know. Since I came back, so from 32 on, I, this one seems like it should be my favorite, but we'll see. <clears throat> uh, right now, I don't think there's a clear winner for favorite since 32, since I've been watching again. None of them have been that great. And I'm really just kind of over this two-night thing. But at least we're not having 13 matches on one night. So it's seven hours long, like 29 was or whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that was fun. I didn't expect to go down a memory lane trip. That's not what I meant to say. But take a trip down memory lane. <laughs> down a memory lane trip. <clears throat> so what have you thought this year? Again, this is the most excited I've been for WrestleMania since 30. I think this build, and it's so funny for me to say this because... The week after the Rumble, I was like, F this, I quit, I'm done. This build to this WrestleMania, it's it's better than it was done last year. Like, I wanted Cody to win last year, and I was so mad that he didn't, but it was not like this. It felt like last year, we were going in the match like, this is... At some point, they had a thing where Roman was saying something about Dusty, and like... But the, the the build to that match was more just like, I think we all just assumed Cody was going to win. This, from Cody winning the Rumble to The Rock having him step aside to the fans revolting, and I, we still don't know, no one has given clear indication if it was, if they were actually going to do Rock Roman and then Cody versus Seth, and then they're like, look, we can't do this. I, I will say, if that if that is what happened, if Vince was still in charge... He would have said, I don't care. I think... We're doing rock and rolling. The buildup has been fun, but I I, I said last year, I'm like, oh my God, Roman's going to win this. I remember having a change of heart. I'm like, yeah. he's and not, like, not going to lose. Up. I do think he's going to lose this year because this whole buildup, while I feel like it's been good, it feels like it's just been... It doesn't feel like it has been all about Cody and, and Rock. Rock. You would it's think like, they're fighting. Hello, for the title. you know he's fighting Roman, not Rock. So I feel like Roman's just kind of been in the background this whole time. I feel like he's going to lose, and I bet 
I don't bet, but I could see <clears throat> the crowd kind of turning on Cody. It's in Philly. Nah, that's what I'm saying. If it, like Philly and Chicago are the two cities, I don't think New York would do that because I think New York. Uh, this is the, my bias is going to come out here. I think New York wrestling fans are smarter than the Philly wrestling fans. Everybody's smarter than Philly. Well, yes, and you've got the Paul Heyman factor with Roman. He's going. I forgot he's going into the Hall of Fame this weekend. Also in Philly, as he should. That's where he should go into the Hall of Fame. Um, but. I think that everyone, they whether they did this on purpose or they stumbled upon it by screwing up the main event and then fixing it, they have now turned Cody into the biggest baby face we have had, I think, since Daniel Bryan. That year, in, in the build up to 30. Yeah. And either they made us think it was going to be Rocky so that we would have a yes movement for Cody and you know us be the Cody crybabies and stuff or whatever I think most people not everyone but most people are so sick of Roman at this point you've got to do something you can't just hold the title for three and a half years and nothing changes like so uh, I do think Cody will win and I do want him to win I like Cody a lot well let's not do the predictions yet well but I don't know. I'm not saying it's the wrong move, but like that's a tough act to follow. What does Cody do after? Probably fight Rock at SummerSlam or in Saudi Arabia or some crap. Or Rock fights Roman. At yeah, you got to do that too. But like Cody's been feuding with The Rock and Roman for basically a year now and Brock and Seth before that like those are the only people he's wrestled but like what's he gonna do who's he gonna defend the title against the one that makes the most sense and we'll get to this later with another match is Orton because of their history and Orton would be great to help put him over but but you gotta have you Orton go Orton a heel? full heel yeah and I don't know anybody's gonna boo Randy at this point like you gotta have him start like punting people again like right so I don't know. I just feel like, yeah, I think he'll win and I think he should win. But I'm also like, I don't really care to see a Cody title reign. It's more about He's, the chase yeah. than the reign. Yeah. Well, and the other thing you got to think it's about. It's like a too, dog chasing a car. I don't know what to know do, with what to do if he caught it. And does Cody move to SmackDown with the title or it's a stupid fan? I got to replace this fan. Does he move to SmackDown with the title? Do we do a draft after this? Because they have Cody to is a, a raw draft. superstar. Yeah. That title is the SmackDown title. I'm pretty sure Drew... I know Seth is raw. I think Drew is raw also, right? I have no idea. At this point, why do we even have a brand split? Just call... They should have done from the very beginning. 23 years ago. Keep the WCW name. Have two shows. Those are the brands. Not the name of a show and the name of a show. Right. If you yeah. keep them as two different different federations, then it actually feels like a brand split. Anyways, I think this build has been fantastic. I I hated The Rock when he took his spot. I could not be happier with everything that The Rock has done since that moment over these last two months. I cannot believe that this guy, like we were saying earlier, this is Moana. This is what else can I say except you're welcome? D didn't he say that? W was that the that one was he went Memphis. to? Yeah. yeah. He has been such a good, except for in Memphis, he didn't really go full heel there. He was like, I just he's like this. Memphis. I, I just love, love you love guys. This, <laughs> this is where I started. I was, I was, what was his name? Flex Kavana. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we could call douchebag. That could be his name with the, with the pompadour, <laughs> Flex Kavana. Um. What do you think about his heel turn? Like, it's been perfect. Oh, it's been perfect, yeah. Like, this is the most I've enjoyed Rock since he stopped being a full-time wrestler. Like, when he beat Austin at 19, and then they brought Goldberg in the next night, and he had the month-long feud with Goldberg, and then he basically retired. He came back at WrestleMania 20, and then he didn't come back again until 27 to fight. 
I've enjoyed this so much more than his feud with Cena because I was like, I was never the biggest Cena fan, but I was like, I don't want you here. Like, I don't even like Cena that much, but this dude is here literally every night. And you just show up and you got your promo written on your wrist and Cena calls him out and he did not like that. And and then he takes the title from Punk just so Cena can take it from him. This has been so much better it's been so much better, betterly done. That is not a word. Betterly? It's been so much better done. What am I trying to say? Bigly? It's been done so much better this time around, I guess. Yeah. But what do you think about the overall, the build to Mania, when really we're just talking about the two main events? And you could throw Drew in there, too. That that promo battle. So, full disclosure, I have not watched, other than in Memphis, a Raw or SmackDown in start to finish in years for more than 15, 20 minutes months like i just don't i watched a lot of monday i did it'll be like a monday night we'll be podcasting and i'll get home at like 10 30 or whatever oh yeah raw was on uh, let's scroll through twitter see what happened okay and that's that's how i consume wrestling outside yeah. of premium live events nice. overall it seems pretty good this should be a very good mania um but yeah you want to get to the card? Let's get to the card. Night one. And I'm so glad that they actually said what each night yes. is going to have before we did this. So these are in the order of importance as I rank them. Night one. We'll do that first. I don't have anything to say about this, but first up, we've got Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee versus Dom, even though it autocorrected to Don, <laughs> and Escobar. I forget his name, but I just wrote Escobar. I can't remember. Santos Escobar. Name. Santos. I, I could not care less. I, I literally could not care less. Who is Escobar, though? He's not in the Judgment Day. Is he the guy that came backstage and... Yeah, he was that guy. I'm going to go... I'm going Dom. That's kind of what I think, too. Because Ray, Ray already beat year. Dom... Ray just kind of showed up again. Yeah, I go Dom also. Okay. That's all we need to talk about that match. Yep. Next up, uh, just also thrown together. They threw three other matches on. This was a great, solid 10-match card, and then they threw three more in. Next up on night one, Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, and Naomi versus Damage Control Alt Delete. I, mean, I wish they would obviously control all delete this match. They're not going to have Bianca lose because they pretty yeah. much never do. They're not going to have Jade lose in her first match. And Naomi's whatever. But, but yeah, they're winning. I also wonder, I didn't pay enough attention to Jade Cargill, Cargill in AEW to know how good she really is. They have built her up like she is the second coming. I don't get it. She kind of just good. reminds me of like Charlotte without the crappy moonsault. Like she, uh, I don't know. She's fine. I think, so that's the face team is Bianca, Jade, and Naomi. Yeah. I think the only thing that's going to be interesting about this, I think after the match, they got their hands raised. Jade, and Jade turns just, on Bianca. Whop! Yeah. And yep. then they get a feud. Yep. Whatever. Um. So, okay. We're both going with the, the, the thing so far. All right. Next up, I think this will be... A lot of fun. And I actually think, what match do you think kicks off night one? I should have said that. Already. I don't even know what the rest of the card is. I know what the finale is. The six-team ladder finale. match. <laughs> the main event. Six-team ladder match. Jay versus Jimmy. Gunther versus Sammy. Rhea versus Be Be Becky. And then Roman. And then the tag. I think they kick off with the ladder match. I think so, too. I think it's either that or Jimmy and Jay. But I think my pick, if I had to put money on one... It would be the, the ladder match. Yeah. So the ladder match is... The former match. The ladder match will be the former match. You have gone <laughs> so far overboard when it comes to dad jokes. More than I ever could have. Judgment Day. So this is Finn and Damien, who, by the way, still has the stupid Money in the Bank briefcase, and we're a month away from Money in the Bank, so does, can we have two Money in Banks in the same time? I don't think so. I think it expires. Judgment Day versus Do It Yourself DIY versus this came out of nowhere, but it makes me so happy that it's happening. The Awesome Truth. Okay. 
Apparently the other week, Ron, our our truth thought he was in DX. He thought he and Miz were DX or something. <laughs> He's the best. Protect that man at all costs. Uh, versus the New Day, of course, no Big E. Versus A Town Downtown, no A Town Down Under, which is Theory and Grace Grace and Waller. Versus the New Catch Republic, which is Tyler Dunn and Pete and Pete. I forget what the guy's Pete name Pete. is. Pete and beat Pete Dunn and Tyler, Tyler Bate. Bate. Did I combine? Did I say you said Tyler? Tyler Dunn. Yeah. And Pete and Pete. <laughs> Wait, what's 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 uh, Pete what's, and Pete? What's the Fight Club? Tyler Dunn, Durden. Okay. Tyler Durden. Yeah. Sean, what do you think? Uh. <laughs> do you need me to say the names again? Because there's so many. Judgment Day, DIY, Awesome Truth, New Day, A Town Down Under, New Catch Republic. Because I feel like they've been getting the push, I'm going to go A Town Down Under. Okay. I, my heart says Awesome Truth, but I don't think that's happening. The other part of my heart says New Day, and I would love it if Big E was out there with them or something. Has he said, it, it, does he have a chance of ever wrestling again, or is he done? I think Do he's we leaving the door open, but he's certainly not that god that fall yeah. is so terrifying I, I think judgment day drops the titles i do think that yeah i think it's time for the judgment day to kind of wrap this all up yeah i'm gonna go diy i'm just gonna go gargano and champ however you say his name champ Ciampia. champa, champa. i'm going diy um, i'd like to see them win it is so funny to think back, though, when those guys came up from NXT. This is when we were still friends with Nerd901, and they were like, Oh my God, the best wrestlers ever, and it's going to take over the world. And then they never just, they never just did anything. It's like you're two little dudes that, like, yeah, you have good matches, but, like, you actually belong more in AEW Absolutely. than WWE. Yeah. All right, so we finally have a different pick. Next up, brother versus brother. People are real excited about this match. I don't really care. Like, yes, it should be a good match. If you've got twin versus twin, like... But one is definitely better than the other one. Yeah, I think Jay is winning. But, like, I don't really care. This is, like, Link versus Dark Link. Like, it's just, like, you get the same... I, I don't know. Well, I, one uh, yeets and the other one does not yeet. Which one yeets? Jimmy? Jay. And then no. Jimmy says, no yeet. Does he really say no? Well, yeet? Roman was like the, whenever Roman was on the air last time. Oh, it was Monday. He was like, no, no, because no, they crowd started chanting yeet at him. He's like, no, 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 no yeet. And they boo. Um, I'm going Jay as well. I feel like we're gonna see these two a lot this weekend. <laughs> it's not just gonna be in this match. It's gonna be in this main event. It's gonna be the other main event. We'll get to there when we get there. But yeah, I have to pick Jay. Actually. No, you know what? No, I'm going Jimmy because some bullshit is going to happen with Solo or freaking Rikishi. Who knows the the family tree? I do wonder when Rock showed that family tree at the press conference. I'm like, first off, how many of them are still alive? Second off, who's who? Are they going to show up? Like, I think this weekend could be bonkers, but I'm going to go Jimmy to be different than you. But also, I just see some bullshit where Jay gets screwed. Yeah. Because the bloodline... Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Next up, this... This, other than the big three, the tag match and the two men's title matches, I'm looking forward to this. And I don't know why so many people were so down on this match when it was set. Gunther versus Sammy. I love Sammy. A year ago, these people that are like, boo, why is it not Chad Gable? Well, he already fought him and he lost. These same people that were mad that Sammy's getting the shot were the ones that were like jumping out of their seats when we actually, they actually made us think he might beat Roman at Elimination Chamber. That match was yeah. incredible. Gunther versus Sammy, I think, and this kind of leads into your thing about Cody, I'm going to go Sammy. I think Gunther has fought more imposing people 
than Sammy throughout this reign. But at some point, he does have to drop the title <laughs> and move on. When you think about it, I don't know how long Logan's been the champ. That might have just been since SummerSlam. But Seth has been the world champ since whenever that came into be, being. It's nine months ago, eight months ago. Roman's had the title for over three years. Gunther's had the title for two... Not has he quite. hit two years I don't yet? think he's at two... Actually... I think he's very close to two years. Yeah. I think he won it pretty much right after Mania yeah. 38. At some uh, point, he's got to drop it, and he should enter the main event scene. I'm going to go with Sammy. I would, I'm probably wrong, but I'm going with my heart. I'm going with Sammy. Um, I'm going to go with Gunther because as far as I know, the original plan was for him to face Brock's Brock's Brock. And I, I don't think they would have had Brock win. No. Because you're not going to have... Brock he's not. He doesn't need the Intercontinental no, title. he should never have the IC title. So, I think given that, I don't think they're ready. Now, granted, <clears> they <throat> could just totally change plans you know, altogether. But I think they were going to have him beat Brock. So, they're probably going to have him beat Sammy. But, yeah, I had the same thought that Gunther would make for a good... But like, but also, he's if he's undefeated for, for two, two years, years, and then Cody's just now like, he loses to Sammy. Whoop. Now he yeah. loses to Cody. Like, right. so I'm gonna go with Gunther. I don't know what you do with him. I don't know, but yeah, I, I think it's Gunther. Okay. Next up, what are the Grizzlies doing? Grizzlies are beating the Bucks, and I think Dame and what's his face are both playing, which is weird. Wow. Uh, the sub main event. The women's World Championship, Rhea Ripley, the champ, versus Becky Lynch, the man. I'm going with Rhea. I'm going Becky. Okay, good. I think I'm wrong, but... but <laughs> how long has it been since Becky... I mean, I probably should have paid attention to this when I was going through all the manias. When was the last time she had the title? Because She lost to Bianca. Two, three two years, years ago. Because she came back at oh, SummerSlam, yeah. squashed her, and then oh lost God, the title to her right. at, I think, the next Mania. And I think it's been since then. That was weird. Um, yeah. Like, I think, because she disappeared for so long. She got married to Seth. She had a baby. She had a baby. She was probably gone for almost a year, I want to say. I think over a year. Yeah. Um, and... Where is Charlotte? Is she She's injured? Did she injured. pop another boob or something? No, it's like a knee or ankle or... I don't think she's got ACL. much... I don't know. She's probably the best women's wrestler I've ever seen. I don't know how much gas she's got left in the tank. Because it seems like, like Drew said about Punk, you're straight edge, but you're always in rehab. <laughs> I'm starting to feel that way. That was such a good line, you know. If he thought of that off the top of his head, or he probably thought of that weeks ago and was like, I can't wait. I can't wait to... <laughs> I, I just don't know how much time Charlotte's got left with all these injuries. Um, I just, yeah, it feels like Becky hasn't been, I don't know who's more, is Rhea, I mean, Rhea is a heel, but is she? People she don't is, boo but her. people love her. Yeah. yeah, they just, if they boo her, it's just because she's got that douchebag with the mullet standing next but to her. But you have to do it, you can't. And she's married to Blake like, Matthews, right? Leave it alone. I don't know if they're married, but they're. I think they did get married. Maybe. But like. Leave it alone. Do not say, oh, people are cheering her. Let's make her face. No, don't change no. a thing. Just Keep have her booking just her as the heel. Ass. Let her just do yeah. her thing. Yeah. I'm going to go Becky. I, I would like, I think I'm probably wrong. I think I'm wrong on almost everyone that we disagree about. But yeah, Sammy, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> DIY, who cares? But um, yeah, that's the thing about that tag match. I could care less. Yeah, it should be fun, but no, no I don't sorry. care. Sorry. I couldn't care less. Who wins, but I think it'll be fun. Um, especially like Becky. Like, did you see like the the same 
you know, Ariel Hawani that did the, um, he did the punk interview. He's awesome. And he, he was on Simmons podcast today talking with Bill and David Shoemaker about WrestleMania and stuff. I've always heard that guy's name, but I've never really listened to him. He's freaking good. The guy right. knows his shit. He, he was basically just like shooting the shit with punk in that interview. And he got punk to say so much that we've all wanted to hear about for the last year and a half or whatever it was since the, the scrum issue. And then the brawl out with, with stupid Jack Perry and all that, um, that he, it, he was interviewing Rhea and Becky FaceTimed him. And was like, Hey, Hey Ariel. Yeah. I'm outside. Uh, I hear you're uh, interviewing Rhea right now. I think I'm going to come in and say hi. And they played it off like it was a shoot because she was like, she came in, she was like, what the fuck are you talking about my daughter for? Don't ever talk about my daughter. And like made it look real, but obviously I'm guessing it's not. I'm guessing they were like, dude, that was awesome. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, so Rhea's held it for a year. Is that what we said? She won it last year at Mania. She beat Charlotte. Was that just last year? I think so. Then yeah. Because Charlotte beat her for it a few years before that. Charlotte beat the her for the NXT title. She won the Rumble and then challenged oh Rhea for the God, NXT title for right. some reason. How stupid was that? And then, I don't know, did she lose it? Did she just be like, I don't want this and forfeit? Like, I don't know how they got that belt off of her. Can but. you imagine if Cody was like, I'm going to finish my story by fighting Carmelo Hayes or whoever <laughs> the hell the title is now. Is that Braun Breaker? No, he's not the champ anymore. I don't know. NXT, so I don't care about NXT. Okay. And then we've got the main event. The Rock and Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. I think we're both going with the same thing here, but I want to talk about it. Yeah. We're both going Rock and Roman. Yeah. You don't put in the stipulation. I wish they would have, what they should have just done is say whoever wins gets to name the stipulation for the main event. But when you announce ahead of time that if Rock and Roman win, it's bloodline rules, well, obviously we're getting bloodline rules. But what does bloodline rules mean? People from the bloodline can interfere. So the match. But no. other than that, you can still get disqualified. The, the, or it's just no DQ. It's just no DQ. Okay. But the match. So Monday, the main event was Seth versus Solo in bloodline rules. And I'm sure you saw Rock get. He, he whipped Cody and all this stuff. Yeah. So Seth was fighting Solo. It was a really good match. Solo can go, and he talked, and he's like, you're going to fight me, Seth. You're not fighting Rock or Roman. I was like, oh, he talks. Wow. I don't think I've ever heard him talk. Yeah. It could also just be because I don't watch enough. But so they have the match and everything, and then Seth gets the upper hand, and here comes the final boss. The final boss is such a good freaking name for him. Also, calling him the final boss also minimizes Roman. (laughs) Yeah. Roman should be the final boss. He's the head of the table. He's the champ for three and a half years, whatever it's been. Rock comes down, and he did you see he had his, like, cow hide? Like, he's going Hollywood Rock <laughs> to a whole other level. Um, I almost wonder if he's going to come out for the match in his old... Remember when he was wearing, like, the jumpsuit after he had his boob surgery? Because he didn't want people to see his scars because he had his fat taken out. Remember, like, WrestleMania 15, when he fought Stone Cold, he fought in his in his... No, he fought Mick Foley in the tracksuit. By the time Mania came around, I think he was actually in his tights. I don't remember that. He had boob surgery. He didn't have... The Rock? Yeah. I don't know that. Yeah. He doesn't need it now because he's on steroids, <laughs> but... Um, what the hell were we talking about? Solo and Seth. Solo and Seth. So then Rock comes out because Solo's knocked down and Seth is kind of just leaning up against the ropes and he's like... And he's looking up at Rock because Rock's getting ready to. And then he looks up at Rock and he just goes. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Seth, you outsmarted him. The music hits. Here comes Cody. Why does the music hit? Like, I get it. You get the crowd hype. But like now Rock is like, well, here comes Cody. And Cody beat the pit. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Cody and Rock finally went at it. And Cody was beating the shit out of him destroying him gets him to the outside gets him over throws him on the table gets up and i'm thinking he's going to do a pedigree because he's done that before not on the table but i mean he's used the pedigree he gets rock like this and he gets him up for the rock bottom the whole crowd's like oh he's gonna rock bottom him through the table here comes solo boom 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 then they beat the crap out of him and everything all that to be said all that to say it's just no dq okay but it sounds cooler to say bloodline rules. So two things. One, 
Rock and Roman are winning. Hands down. Who Two, takes the pin? I had to look it up because I was getting myself confused, and now I understand I was wrong. I was thinking Bloodline Rules was the same thing they did, which I had to look up, at SummerSlam last year with Roman and Jay, where they're like, no disqualification. Oh, I mean, no, that was tribal combat. combat. Oh. They're like, oh, that means nobody can interfere. And then Solo interfered. I'm yeah, like, like, what, well, what, what are we doing? What is the point of this title reign? Like, <laughs> so he's supposed stupid. to be the best like title reign ever. But, like, they made a big deal. It's tribal combat. Right. It's one-on-one and no interference. And then it still happened. Like, this is stupid. But I guess bloodline rules is different than tribal combat. Um, I forgot about that. I think you got to have Cody take the pin. If you're going to go and, like... Well, I could see. Mm -hmm. If you're, they're definitely winning because they're trying to build up. How can Cody ever? How can he overcome? How much more can we stack the odds? So they're winning. There's a lot of ways the title match can go the next night. I don't know if I think that hurts Seth. I mean, Cody. If you have Cody take the pin, but then it also helps to build. Man, I don't know. Well, also, who gets involved in this? Or is it just I think this is two? clean. Okay. For the most part. Um, I think the only... I, I, I think it'll probably be Cody that takes the pin just to build up more of the whole... There was rumors a while ago that they were shooting... That they were possibly shooting a Rocky-style montage thing for Cody. I don't know if they ended up doing it, but like to make him even more of an underdog. But the reason I think it actually might be Seth... Like this is the first mania where we've had the night two, the night one, and the night two, and that's the first time they've actually been like, "Oh, duh! Why don't we tie night one into what happens at night night two? Even last year with the tag match, it was still just they a tag were title match. Yeah. And then <laughs> Jimmy and Jay both came out with Roman. It's like, well, we lost, but we're still here. Who cares? Right. Um, I gotta think if it, I, I think Drew gets involved. I think Drew has done such a good job in this build-up. I feel like we're going to see him on both nights. Obviously, he fights on night two, but... I can see it because he keeps doing the whole thing like, you're paying yeah. way too much attention to that. Like, you're, fighting you're fighting me fighting at me, Mania. Dude, yeah. I'm your fight. For that, yeah. So I like that, but at the same time, it's weird. Like This whole thing is already convoluted enough now you throw now drew gets involved to change the outcome of that match so i could see it i don't like it but i could see it yeah um but yeah i think rock and roman win hands down i think it's 99 percent they win like if cody and seth win then what it's just then nothing it's just, it's just, a, just match, a normal match and okay they're still gonna interfere and like <laughs> it's not like they're gonna end it in a dq so who cares but also the thing I'm so glad we're not getting Rock and Roman at this for so many reasons. One of the which, one of which is another thing I noticed about Rocky on Monday when he was beating up Cody and Seth. What am I twisting? It's loose. I'm just, don't worry about it, Kevin. It wasn't really that I saw him getting winded. But what I noticed about Rock when they were doing this beatdown and stuff when he went from there was a couple times where he was outside the ring and came in and he didn't really slide in or like step over the rope. he like went under the bottom rope but he looked so stiff and i was like that's the first time i was like oh yeah maybe it's not the cardio with him that should worry me and anybody that doesn't know if he can still go maybe it's just like He's 51, 52 years old. His joints, he's had lots of surgeries and stuff. When he got into the ring, ro- like sliding under, because every other time when he's come down and just talked, he just walks up the stairs, yeah. he ducks under, and he goes in. But this one, he slid under the bottom rope. I was like, oh, that didn't look good. I just, I, mm-hmm. I don't know. But I think that's why it's good that they're doing a tag match so Roman can help protect him. And he can just be in there. He can get his big spots in, tag out. Like, I don't know. Yeah. We see people's elbow, I assume. Or is he like, screw you, you people like it? No, you Cody crybabies, you don't deserve the people's elbow. I think he's got to do it. Yeah. I, I can't believe we haven't seen it yet. Yeah. But I think that's just too... Have we even seen a rock bottom? No. Because he hasn't really gotten physical that much other than slapping Cody. Cody slapped him. He beat the hell out of Cody. 
it would have been awesome if he rock bottomed him in the parking lot or something. <laughs> and then on Monday when he beat the hell out of Cody again. Um, we saw the people's elbow when he came out and Jinder Mahal was talking shit or whatever. Way back when he said, should the rock sit at the, at the island or at the kitchen table or at the bar or at the head of the table? I don't know. Yeah. All right. That's night one. Night two. Only six matches. Seven in the first night. Six in the second night. Night two kicks off with another match that they're just like, okay, this is the third match where they're like, everybody, you get a match and you get a match. I can't even think of what this one is. Six-man Philadelphia street fight with the pride versus oh. the final testament. And I had to write down the names of everybody that's in these things because I couldn't remember. I don't know who either of them are. I know one's that guy that they keep trying to push that keeps yeah, going nowhere. Yeah. His, his wife is way more famous than he'll ever be. <laughs> The pride is Lashley, Angelo Dawkins, and Montel, Montel, Montez Montel Ford. Jordan. <laughs> yes. This is how we do it. And then the final testament, which is Karrion Cross, and then Akam and Razor. Oh, Razor, God. whatever their name. What are they? The authors of pain? Is that what yeah. they are? The AOP? All I think is Toka and Razor. <laughs> I know. When I said Akam, I was like, wait, Akam's Razor? Akam's Razor. Is that why they did this? AK, and I could be saying I don't wrong. think his name AKA, is Akam. Is it Akam? <laughs> I don't know. Shazam? <sighs> the Pride versus the Final Testament. I, I'm i going to go Bobby Lashley, the Pride. I don't know. I, I could not care less. I think this will be the I'm going to go the other one just okay. to disagree with you, but I have no idea. I think this w- this could definitely, because this this night only has six matches, and it's stacked. This has to be like a cool down at some point. The pee break between either the women's title and the main event or the world title and the main event. Yeah. I'm not sure. I, Next up. Taco Bell. LA Knight versus AJ Styles. I think this kicks it off. I think so too. I was so confused. I still go. I was so confused when people are like, AJ flew all the way around the world just to beat up LA Knight. I was like, no, he didn't. He was in the elimination chamber. And then I was like, no, he wasn't in the elimination chamber. You yeah. Idiot. I'm going to go LA Knight just because, I don't know, he's getting the big push. And uh, I feel like AJ is just there to put other people over at this yeah. point. I'm going AJ just because I like this heel AJ. He's put on muscle. He's yoked. Yeah. Okay. I'm just like <laughs> making sure I didn't like just... I mean, he's he's a lot. He was always bigger than he was when he first started out in TNA. But yeah, he looks huge. Yeah. Whatever happened to the Good Boys or the Good Brothers, whatever their names are, they still they had like a. They're like an NXT now, I think. I saw them. I think they may have been in a. Uh, what do you call it? like a qualification match for that big uh, ladder match? Okay. So they're still kind of there, but like. Why did they, they don't like, really do anything? Act like they were putting the Bullet Club or the club or whatever they call them back together, and then they're like, "No, never mind." Chase just by himself. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm gonna go AJ just because I don't like LA Knight. I don't get it. I don't. I don't see the big. He like, says, "Yeah, yeah," like, but I've watched him wrestle. And I'm like, you don't have it. Like, he's like, it's like they think he's the next MJF. He ain't. But MJF. he's also like 45. I mean, he's no spring chicken. Like he's. Wow. Closer to the end of his career than the beginning. So, I don't know. Did you see Zack Ryder came out of... No- Matt Cardona came out of nowhere. Edge had an open... Or Adam Copeland had an open challenge oh, I for the TNT WWE. title. No, he had an open challenge for the TNT title. Here comes Zack Ryder. His real name is yeah. Matt Cardona. I was like, that's awesome. But they said he's he's like the indie wrestling god. He's been doing death matches and stuff. He's not woo, 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 or whatever it was back in the day. He... He, apparently he hasn't signed a contract with AEW. Uh-oh. They just brought him in for a one-time thing, and obviously at Ad, Ad, Adam, at Ad, adage, <laughs> the old one. adage, yeah, the old adage one. All right, next up, I think this also could kick off the show. U.S. Championship Triple Threat Match: Logan Paul, the champion, versus Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens. Uh, this is one of the one. I'm like, I don't really know what I think in this. This is one of those matches where I feel like. Owens and Orton cancel each other out, so I think what's his name retains Logan. Logan. It's like they don't really care about the U.S. title anymore, 
So it's fine to leave it on a part timer. Uh, I don't know. I think he retains. Or I could also see him losing and just not being involved in the fall, and you protect him that way. But actually, I changed my pick. No, oh, you're going to change it to what I was going to say. I say Owens. Okay, good. You're going That's with Orton. Not what I was going to say. I'm going Orton, just because. I mean, think about it. Like, remember when Cena won the U.S. title? When he was still a full time wrestler, but they he won the U.S. title to try to elevate it, and he did the open challenge and all that stuff. Orton's at the part of his career; he's got fourteen world titles. I don't think he's ever going to get to sixteen or seventeen. I don't think he's probably ever going to yeah. get to fifteen. Um, fourteen is plenty. That's tied with Triple H. Um, it could be fun to see him as the U.S. champ, but the main reason I think it's going to happen is when I look at this match, the one thing that pops into my head is. Logan Paul is going to try to take the best RKO that's ever happened. He There will be an awesome RKO. He yes. is so athletic. No matter what you think about him as a person, which I think he's a jackass. As a wrestler, I cannot believe how good this dude turned out to be. And he is so damn athletic. You go back to that friggin', uh It was the 23 Rumble, I think, with him and Ricochet, right? When they went flying across the ring and hit each other in the air. Yeah. Insane. Um... I think we're going to get an awesome RKO. I could see, even though it's already been done, it just seems like I could see them doing another. Um, God, what was his name? Stomp. Stomp. Like the stomp into an RKO. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like Evan. Stomp. You're thinking yes. Evan Bourne. The yeah. shooting star or whatever into an RKO. Because that, that seems like something Logan Paul could do. And it's like, we don't really care about Evan Bourne. Let's recreate that highlight, but do it with Logan Paul so we can start showing this one instead. And also, so Randy just has to, like, sit up and just go, bink. Right. Because that's what he did. As cool as that was. Or wait, no. Did he stand up and... No, I think he just barely got up his feet and just kind of... (laughs) (laughs) But the reason I think Orton can win this is because there's got to be an awesome RKO. I don't see KO doing anything unless he's like going for a frog splash on Logan and then Randy catches him in the middle of it. That's one of those things where jumping with your head out can make sense. I guess that could work. And he RKOs him on top of Logan and then he but then Randy still wins. I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna go Randy. Oh, so you're going with KO and I'm going with RKO. Hmm. Why are they not a tag team? RK RKO? No, RKO no. KO. <laughs> RKO KO. Rated RKO was such a freaking awesome name. Uh, next up, I've got the women's ch- WWE Women's Championship. EO Sky, I can also see this opening. EO Sky versus Bailey. The, the one thing that I would think will not open the show is Seth and Drew. Well, I mean, also Roman versus Cody, but you know what I mean. I don't think Seth versus Drew is going to open it, especially because Seth is going on in the main event of the night before. You got to get that. You got to let that dude rest as long as he can. Yeah. EO Sky versus Bailey. Who you got? I go Bailey. I go EO Sky. Really? Just because um, I almost think that Bailey, like you were saying, that like like what you were saying um, about AJ. That's kind of how I look at Bailey. Like I don't know. She's been around longer than I remember. Like it was forever ago that she was, you know, she had the ponytail to the side and she's all happy and the wacky, wavy, inflatable, whatever, man. I'm, I do wonder if she's going to come out to her old entrance. That would be cool. I don't think so. Cause now she's like soccer mom with her, yeah. like AJ her Styles haircut, haircut and start. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go EO mostly because Bailey just putting her over. And that's really all I know. I don't know much about EO. I know she's tiny. And Bailey, I've never been a big fan of. Uh, I mean, no. Uh, yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm going Bailey. I don't know. Okay. I just. No, you said you're going EO. No, you no. said you're going Bailey. I wrote it down <laughs> wrong. All right. The World Heavyweight Challenge champ. <laughs> well, also the challenge. The World. I am so like cotton mouth. I didn't bring my water up here. I just said my Taco Bell. Bit, bit, bit. <laughs> um, Seth. Freaking Rollins versus Drew freaking McIntyre. All right. All right. I got to figure out what I want my prediction to be. Okay. 
but I also have a fantasy booking thing. Okay. Oh. Okay. Seth wins. Okay. Due to CM Punk screwing over McIntyre. He's got McIntyre gets pissed. Claymore's Seth. Out comes what's his face. Oh. So you're going Seth with a cash in, and then what's his face walks out as the champ? Yep. I can't remember his name. What the hell I don't even know. Damien Priest. That guy. I was going to call him Adrian, but I was like, his name's not Adrian. Which, now I can bring this full circle. Okay. That's why I also feel, because they always tend to do this. That's why I don't have them retaining in the ladder match. Because I feel like they always do. Exactly. Like, he's going to lose and then come back and win. Like, Brett lost and then came back and won. And then Seth lost and he came back and won. I feel like they always do that where, like, if you have two matches and one's more important than the other or you have, like, a cash-in type thing, it's like, have him lose and then he come out and win. So, yeah. Seth, I mean, it's a tag match. Who cares? Seth but. lost to Randy Orton and he came out and cashed in on Brock and yeah. Roman. Yeah. Um, I like that. I'm going to go Drew... I don't think Seth walks out with the title. I was originally going to say Drew, but I don't think Seth leaves with the belt. But I'm going to say Idiot cashes in because I don't know how else. And he ain't cashing in on Drew. <laughs> Drew's not going to win and then Damian beats He's going to run like, out there and then be like, oh, eh, no, never mind. I don't even care how tired he is. And he ain't cashing in on Roman or Cody. There's no way. No. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's a triple threat now. <laughs> They're just like... Who is this guy? No, that would be if Vince was still around. I could see it <laughs> happening. That That is true, though. Honestly, I do have to think about this differently now that Vince is gone. Like, gone, gone, gone. Persona non grata. He can't have his fingerprints on anything now. So there's not going to be some dumb effery, you know? Yeah. I mean, there could be, but it won't be Vince level of dumb effery. I'm going to go Drew. I think he has been so on fire. I hate so much that... His two title reigns were both during the pandemic, right? Did he ever have the title in front of real people? Like once they started letting fans back in? I don't think so. The only other, the, the only reason I think I could be wrong is they, they announced Clash at the Castle is coming back and it's going to be in Scotland this time. No. It would probably be cooler for him to beat Seth or Adrian. What's his name? Damien. Damien for the title in his home country. Squash him. And just, yeah, just just like he did to Brock. And just stab claimer, him claimer, with a claimer, sword. Claymore. Um, but I'm going to go with Drew. Um, and I honestly, this is one, when you speak about, when you talk about the Philly crowd, I think the crowd is going to be 100% behind, behind Drew. Drew. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think it's Seth has, I, I don't like, I like that he's teaming up with Cody and all that. I don't like the Seth character. I don't think Seth has ever had a character that I liked. I think he's always been missed. There's he's, one time when I liked him. He's great in the ring. He always has been. But his character, like this character. That's so annoying. Yeah. Like, why you're booking him as a face. But he's but doing making the same thing he was as a heel. making him the most annoying person yes. ever. When he was on fire there, when he was... I think it was maybe the build up maybe like the year before when he beat Brock to open WrestleMania like leading up to that when he didn't really have a gimmick he was just putting on like awesome matches right. that was when I loved him yeah I cannot stand this character no this is not a he's face. still one of the best wrestlers but yeah. like I, I just I can't stand him no I can't stand you like the character does not match the booking at all no I don't understand he's the same character he was when he was a heel when he was an annoying heel with all the flashy out, like, it'd be like if Hollywood Rock was getting cheered, like, not just cheered because, oh my God, the Rock's here. Everybody's going to do that when the music hits and you don't yeah. expect it. But he's not, yeah, it just doesn't match. I, I'm going to go Drew, but I feel like I could be a couple months too early. Or he wins the title and he gets screwed by Damien. And then he beats Damien and Cardiff. Or no, Cardiff was the last one. Um, we'll see. And then the main event. I don't even want to say what I think is going to happen. I 
again, we already saw, talked about this, but man, I could the the day after. I remember trying to find every YouTube show and podcasts, and that was when I first found the first time I ever listened to Busted Open on Sirius XM and Dave LaGreca. Oh, I think I sent you that podcast because that was the first time because it was him, Bully Ray, and Mark Henry. Bully Ray, I was like, is he talking to Paul Heyman? And then he finally said, mm-hmm. Bully. And I was like, oh my God, Bully Ray sounds exactly like Paul Heyman. It was so weird. And Bully was taking the mindset of, you guys have got to relax. Dusty's whole thing was hard times, hard times. And Cody had no hard times. He beat Seth three times. He tore his tricep off the bone. And then he came back and won the Rumble. And then he's just going to walk in and beat Roman. But it's hard to book him as an underdog when you have him show up, beat Seth one of the best guys you've got beat him three times in a row. Even with a torn peck. Fight Brock two, three times. And win all t- of them or win two of three. He won two of three, yeah. Win the Rumble twice, back-to-back years. Like, he never loses. He lost one match. He's probably lost some other random ones due to some BS. But like, Oh, somebody pinned him a couple weeks ago because the blood Solo or involved, something. Think, yeah. But, like, he basically... Oh, Drew pinned him. Drew pinned him before... Um, Elimination Chamber. They had a match on Raw and the Bloodline screwed him. Yeah. So, like, it's hard to book somebody as an underdog when you never have them lose. That's why I could kind of see him winning and the crowd turning. There, I love Cody. But there's a small part of me that almost hopes he doesn't win. Like, you have to finish the story at some point. I get it. <clears throat> like, if he doesn't win this then what like D Bry leading up to WrestleMania 30 and Kofi leading up to 34 or whatever. Like you don't do that. Has that really been six years? No, that was 33. Yeah. Cause Roman was at 34 was when he beat D Bry. No, that was 38. When the hell did he beat D Bry and edge? It doesn't matter. That was 30. Oh God. 34 was Kofi mania. It was no, it was 35. Was it 35? Yeah, it was the year before the pandemic. Regardless, like, you don't do all that and then not get the payoff. They kind of did it last year, but it's to a whole new level this year. I do think he wins. There is a part of me that kind of hopes he doesn't just because some people just like to watch the world burn. Like, but I do, I think he will win. But you've got Jay and Jimmy probably getting involved you've got who knows what with the rock you've got i mean seth's probably he's not getting involved his part will be done the previous night but like you got the whole thing with stone cold and cena like everything is on the table you could have you could do the hogan at bash in the beach thing you could have jay come down to save Cody and have him turn on Cody and have him rejoin the bloodline. Like, or you, you have, have Rikisi show up and, and, and like, turn on Cody. You could have, I still, is the rock going to turn on Roman? Oh, what I was thinking could happen. I don't think that'll happen. I mean, I think eventually, but not at but mania. Exactly. I don't think he turns on him, but I think Roman loses. And that gives rock the motivation to be like, you are not the head at the table. I'm the head of the table. They build it till SummerSlam or maybe even mania next year. And they fight not for the title. And that's the part of turning... Because we all love Roman now. We love to boo... Like, we're not booing him like we did in 2015 because it was like you're shoving him down our throats. This, we're booing him because he never freaking loses. He's awesome. He's... Talk about the character matching the booking. Him, yeah. whoever's idea was, whether it was Heyman or whoever, to turn him into the head of the table, that the tribal chief acknowledged me. Man. They, they saved his career. I mean, what this is bad to say, but what saved his career was probably him getting well, cancer and coming back because yeah. then we were all like, okay, we're not just going to boot. Like we like this guy. We love like, this is real, whatever, blah, 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 blah. One thing I could see them doing, which I think could be kind of cool. Solo always shows up and he comes out of the crowd and he's got his hoodie on and then he reveals himself. And we're like, yeah, we know it's you. It's always you. <laughs> like, why do you come out in a hoodie? Have him show up. Well, have somebody show up in the hoodie Kurt Angle's brother. He comes off and it's Jay. So everybody thinks it's solo. Here we go. He's going to take out Cody. And then it's Jay and he, I don't know, super kicks Rome, you know, whatever. So they could do that. Like, 
have the black hoodie show up, but it's actually not solo this time and have it be Jay to help Cody or something. I think it would be cool. The whole stone cold and Cena thing, but like they don't need to be involved that it makes zero sense. It would be fun. It doesn't make any sense and it doesn't have to, I get it. But, and also the thing I I'm picking Cody, what I don't want to happen is that Cody needs help from lots of people to finally do this. Like the help should just be fending off the blood. Exactly. Don't keep it. So it's one-on-one. Yeah. Right. (laughs) If stone cold shows up and stuns Roman and then Cody pins him, like what, what was the point of all this? I would love to see rock take one more stunner, (laughs) you know, just because, but yeah, I don't really think that Roman, I don't think that rock is going to turn on Roman. I started thinking that maybe like playing 4d chess, that maybe rock, and some other people were saying this too. Maybe the beat down in the parking lot was a beat down. And like, he wasn't really, cause obviously they're not really hitting each other, but maybe he was really faking it with Cody, like go super meta. Like we throw fake punches. So we know how to throw fake punches. So I'm not really hitting Cody, but I'm making it look like I'm hitting Cody and then Cody just blades just because you know what I mean? I started getting really in my head and I was like, no, it, it's, I don't think it's going to be that. I think, when they do the inevitable rock and Roman match, it has to be something about you embarrass because they've all they've talked family above all else. It's, it's a freaking fast and furious movie out there. It's family, family, family. It's you disrespect me. You disrespect him. You disrespect me. It's my family, the family tree, blah, blah, blah. The only thing that would really surprise me is if they showed up and get involved in this is Dustin because he's under contract still with AEW, even though he's yeah, like 60 years happened. old. I also could see AEW with all the bad press they've gotten after that CM Punk interview being like, okay, just go with your brother. Go. It's fine. Go celebrate with your brother. Help him. Whatever they want you to do, we'll let you go for one night, whatever. Um, yeah, I could see Rikishi. I, I could see... Um, isn't there another one that's coming up? I don't think they're even in NXT yet, though, right? No, they're like in the indies or something. Okay. Nothing would surprise me. Nothing would surprise me. But I am... I'm going with Cody. It, it has to be Cody. Because if you don't now, especially after you had The Rock take the match, and then Cody's like, no, nah, this is bullshit. And even Triple H last year was big on the just wait. Like, trust me, basically. Yeah. And now he's got full control. So if you still don't pull the trigger, he's lost everybody. So, yeah. Please beat the Bucks. So, yeah, I think Cody has to win, but I could see the crowd turning. I don't see it because I think not, not fully, but I can see th- I think there would be a smattering of booze. Okay. Giannis played Dame did not, but still we beat the Bucks Doc in Milwaukee. Sucks. He's ho- <laughs> I don't know how he keeps getting jobs. But. Um, I don't think the crowd turns on him because I think they have made him into the most over baby face. Like I was saying since Daniel Bryan. And it's not like he is the old school baby face. There's no tweener. There's no like... No, he's like 1995, 1996 Shawn Michaels. Yes. Yeah. Like, he is he is kissing the babies. And he's like doing the make-away. And he's, he's well, it, he's doing Cena, except people don't hate him for it. Yeah. Yet. Um, it's got to be Cody. He has to win the title. He has to finish the story. Finishing the story is not winning Seth's title. You know, he can't lose nah. this and then never fight for again and then beat Seth at SummerSlam and be like, yay, I won second place. Like... No, yeah. that doesn't that doesn't work for me, brother. Okay, the only thing I don't like is I'm thinking back. Oh no, I was gonna say I think I picked oh, no. almost every title to change hands, but I picked Gunther and I picked Rhea. But I've got EO losing the title, tag titles changing. WWE title changing Seth dropping it so yeah I got a lot of title changes not all of them so people were saying online again I don't think anybody cares but going back to the tag match people were saying that the announcers made it a point to say the match doesn't end until all the Both. titles are grabbed or yes. something so I think there's so people were saying the they titles. may split That's it up true. and I didn't even think about that but like the match doesn't end like 
If I go up there and I grab both red belts and then I fall, do I win those belts? Or I've yeah, accomplished nothing in the or, match. Yeah, do I keep wrestling? Oh, that's what's going to happen. Or do I leave the match? They're like, okay, you're the Raw champs. Go. You're going to have two people or maybe four people They're up there fighting. Up there. And then they, you know, one uh, team whoever. I don't red. even remember who I said. Yeah. One team I literally. Red, who did I pick in that match? Blue. I don't know. You picked. I can't even remember who's in it. A-Town. Oh, A-Town down gets the red belts and maybe DIY gets the blue belts and, and we're like what right. do we do and yeah. then uh, you you both you won those belts good job Vince I, that's how it's gonna end Vince comes out and he tears his quads and he's like son of a bitch I can't stand up anymore remember when Shane showed up last year and then just like blew his knee out like five seconds later and then everybody's like let's never show that and pretend that didn't happen <laughs> remember that? that's what happened with McAfee and uh with Snoop that's oh, why Snoop, Snoop got involved thing. because Snoop called an audible and was yeah, like, like, "I'm a good in here and beat this guy." That's right. Ass. Yeah, because Shane was just like, Ooh. he like jumped yeah. over him and then just his knee just exploded or his hand, his quad, something. Yeah. Ugh. All right. So if we go through the 13 matches, how many did we get differently? We're I bet bo- eight. We're eight both going Dom to win the tag match. We're both going Bianca and the girls to win. So I've got DIY. You've got A Town Down. I've got Jimmy, you've got Jay. I've got Sammy, you've got Gunther. I've got Becky, you've got Rhea. We've both got The Rock and Roman winning. The six-man street fight were different because who cares? Uh, I've got AJ, you've got LA Knight. I've got RKO, you've got KO. I've got EO, you've got Bailey. So so we're actually going to have a winner in this, I would think. Uh, I've got Drew, you've got Seth, with the extra helping of Damian. (laughs) So we've got nine different nine out of 13. We went differently. That's impressive. Wow. I think that's another reason I am so excited for this because I think there is a lot. These should be some awesome matches. There's a lot of unknowns other than it is weird that the two big, the two main events, I feel like we know what's going to happen. It's just going to be the journey getting there. Yeah. Because rock and Roman are going to win. But it also seems like anytime you think that, I That's know. when you're wrong. I know. I'm trying to think if somehow Cody and Seth win night one. And I'm not saying we change our predictions, but if they did, then I don't. Na- like and it. we redo our night two picks. Would you still pick Seth? I mean Cody for night two. I think he's got to win. I but would, it just but doesn't I would seem not. I feel a lot worse about it. I'd feel a lot more worried if it was not bloodline rules, which makes no sense. Right. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Are you going to come over for both nights? If you're watching it here, yeah, I'll come, oh, yeah. I'll come watch. I'm going to make my cheese dip. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this special episode 353, brother, of the Two Player Co op podcast. Thank you all so much for being here. Let us know your picks for WrestleMania down below. And until the next time, Sean, go ahead and take us out. Thank you for playing. <laughs>